Flaxseed is fantastic for constipation. In fact, it's the best thing you can use for constipation because it works at different layers and levels. But it also shows up to outperform psyllium and outperform the laxatives. Yep, that's why I've got better than psyllium and it's better than just fiber because it's got a mixture of ingredients in there that all work to literally improve constipation. So fiber, 27%, half of soluble, half insoluble. The insoluble fiber makes like a kind of mucinolage thing that helps everything move through, transit through really smoothly. So it has that benefit of being very, very gentle. It's also got something called SDG, it's a phytoestrogen, and that works at a different layer too. They, all these things work at a different layer to improve constipation. And SDG is a sicososolaricinol glucoside, and as a result of that, and then you've got the flaxseed oil, which is alpha linolenic acid, a potent antioxidant, and helps with all the damage that's being done through the gut. So sometimes you can have damage in the gut that causes inflammation and slows down the transit through the gut. So this helps repair that damage to get it through. And even some peptides, very low level of some little proteins in there that have also been shown to work on constipation and gut health. So as a result of that, you end up with, first of all, great for constipation, you ready? Fixes the gut health, and in particular the gut microbiome, which you all know. You've seen all my other videos on those topics. And you, of course you've subscribed to my channel. And put a comment down, please. Put a comment, put a question. It helps me get traction and helps me get this information out there. But it also has been shown to help with inflammatory bowel disease. And at least from an animal perspective, is great for reducing the risk of colon cancer, which I'll talk about in a moment. So we've got all these fantastic things in there and fantastic benefits. Now, let's look at some of the studies. And uh, This was the first one I came across that was of interest, 2015, where they looked at rabbits and guinea pigs, you ready? Intestines. And they had some of the ingredients of flaxseed and flaxseed oil. And what they're looking for is some stimulation or changes in it. And it had a laxative effect, but also an anti diarrheal effect so it can help move things through but at the same time when your when your gut is moving things too fast it slows it down in 2018 a study was done where 53 constipated people type 2 diabetics were constipated they did 12 weeks and 20 grams per day now in all the other videos I've done on fact seed make sure you watch them I've talked about 30 grams as the average, and they put these in cookies, gave them to the people, and everyone said, oh yeah, these are really good. So the, the people were really happy with having this, adding this into their meals every, literally every single day for 12 weeks. It decreased constipation, it decreased weight, so they lost weight, and it improved lipid levels, so triglycerides in the blood, and glycemic control. So for the diabetics, they had a win, win, win situation. And of course, on the other video, where I talk about diabetes and hypertension and heart disease, flaxseed has heaps and heaps of benefits, but now constipation and this are linked into some of those benefits. Flaxseed is also great for gut health in general. In fact, the combination of fibers, which are prebiotics that feed the good gut microbiome, the SDG, which is the phytoestrogen, breaks down into these other phytoestrogens called enterolactone and enterodial, and they have huge benefits actually on the gut itself. And then you've got the potent antioxidant oil, alpha lipoic acid, and it's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So as a result, you generally see uh, an increase in the beneficial bacteria in the gut, which is what you want in your gut microbiome. It improves the gut blood barrier, that's the intestinal wall. So it helps literally get rid of leaky gut. And then, as a result, obviously, decreased oxidation and decreased inflammation. So, so many broad benefits just for the gut. Then when it comes to things like ulcerative colitis, one of the forms of inflammatory bowel disease. And there's a lot of animal studies on them. And basically, 2016, mice with colitis, they decreased the mucosal damage, decreased tissue damage, and decreased inflammation and oxidation, which is what you're after for somebody who has gut-related issues. 2020 study, using both flaxseed and flaxseed oil, decreased the ulcers, it decreased the, the depth of the ulcers that were done, it decreased mortality in the mice, so overall 
with these conditions, they sometimes let their mice live to a, a riper old age, but the severity of the disease causes early mortality. And in this case, it led to a, a reduction in mortality, uh, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and it was also found to be anti-spasmodic. In other words, what it doesn't do, it doesn't cause those irritations of the gut peristalsis, which causes literally the dumping in the gut and lots of pain problems in the gut. In a 2020 study, again on mice, they looked at the flaxseed oligosaccharides. This is again, uh, uh, taking a part of the seed and it decreased colitis, it increased the microbiome diversity and it increased the intestinal barrier. So we've got all those benefits showing in mice. Similar results show up for humans with ulcerative colitis. A 2023 study, 64 patients with ulcerative colitis. Now each of these studies have little nuances, little differences that are worth considering in terms of their actual benefits. So they had 30 grams per day over 12 weeks and it decreased the two indicators, resistant and bisphatin. It decreased those which are indicators of ulcerative colitis and it increased the one which is indicative of healing of ulcerative colitis, which adipopectin. Uh, a 2020 study, much broader, was looking at the overall health of these people with ulcerative colitis as well. You, you might be aware that people with ulcerative colitis tend to have a higher propensity for a uh, higher blood pressure, higher risk of uh, insulin resistance, diabetes type 2, higher risk of metabolic syndrome type conditions as well as other. So you can see the overall benefit of something like this. So 2020 study, 75 ulcerative colitis patients. Again, 12 weeks, 30 grams, tends to be this, the length of the study. And again, the 30 grams, characteristic of most of these studies. Both flaxseed and flaxseed oil were shown to be um, decreased inflammatory markers. Uh, one, uh, one of them called calpectin. Uh, and then decreased the disease severity, pretty good feeling, blood pressure and waist circumference as well. What a win-win-win situation. So you can see from all of these benefits, it is really great for just helping heal the gut as well. Flaxseed has also been shown to have anti-cancer properties in colorectal cancer, which by the way, is the second major killer as a cancer in our society. So, and it's increasing dramatically. People say, oh, I wonder why we're getting it. Well, one of the reasons is we're not eating the right foods. And here is a food that actually helps stop that growth out there and prefer preferably, potentially even reducing the numbers. So the message is pretty simple. It stops the supply of blood to the cancer. It stops the, the growth of it. It stops, it literally causes them to explode, apoptosis. That's, I, that's the way I like remembering it. Um, the death of the cancer cells, it stops it spreading and it's anti-inflammatory and inflammation, as you would know, because you've seen lots of my videos on it, is one of the key feeders of cancers and all our other metabolic conditions and so on. So you can see why it is so good. But it's not just one component, it's all of them. The fiber, the flaxseed oil, the phytoestrogens and the phytonutrients all play a role and have been shown to be effective in reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. And these days, back in the 1990s, 1992, a study on rats showed that it decreased the aberrant crypts. Now these aberrant crypts are one of the first microscopic indicators of a potential for colorectal cancer. So, oh, if you've got an increase in them, you've got an increased risk. If you've got a decrease in them, a decreased risk. And the, the study basically showed that flaxseed flour, which is the flaxseed, take the oil out and then just grind up that dry part into a flour and it decreased it by 41, 53%. And when they used flaxseed meal, the whole flaxseed ground up, it was a 48 to 57% increase, uh, decrease in the aberrant crypts. Great idea. See, so how, how wonderful this back in 1992. Hmm. Well, 2005, flaxseed oil was shown to reduce the colon tumours by 50% in rats. The same group did the same type of study in 2006 and just used flaxseed and also showed a 50% reduction. Oh, pretty amazing if you think about it. Given the, the, the sheer number of people who die from colorectal cancer, and maybe this could be avoided by, by preventative medicine, which is having flaxseed and all the other benefits. In um, 2013, uh, a study was done just on the ingestible, indigestible fiber in flaxseed. And it decreased the aberrant crits multiplicity, the increasing rate of them. And flaxseed and flaxseed um, indigestible fiber stopped cancer cell uh, cycle 
and it increased apoptosis, which is the death of the cancer cells. 2011, a study on flaxseed oil suppressed the colon uh, cancer forming in rats. So you see different components having still benefits on various aspects of the colorectal cancer. And then we go into SDG, which is, which is the phytoestrogen component I've mentioned many times already. Both 2021 and 2022, they showed that it reduced cancer cell proliferation and increased apoptos apoptosis, the death of cancer cells. So already you're saying, well, that's pretty good, but what about human studies? Unfortunately, there are no human studies that I could find. Despite the effectiveness of this, far outweighing the medication to reduce your risk of colorectal cancer, I couldn't find any studies. Now, there are indicators of it. So if you're on a high nut seed diet, for example, which includes flaxseed, then yes, you have a, a significant reduction in the risk of colorectal cancer. If you're on a processed diet, a significant increase in it. But there are no human studies, despite the fact that we've got all of this animal and cell study that just keeps building up and building up. These, this is just a small part of the, of the dozens of studies that are out there. So the message is, overall, you're getting this benefit of reducing the risk of colorectal cancer, and you're getting all those other benefits I've already mentioned to do with the gut. Constipation, improving, improving the gut microbiome, improving the health and the um, leaky gut barrier and all those e issues, along with your, your ulcerative colitis and other conditions. So overwhelmingly, there are so many benefits for the gut. Now, I've got a lot of videos on gut health and how to fix and help repair the gut, and linseed, flaxseed makes up a component of that. But make sure you, sub, you, you tick the boxes out here, share it with your friends, and pass on some comments to me. I'd love to answer some of your questions.